Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-January 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. Thank you so much Libra for watching. As always, I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising to get a full picture of what's going on. And it's totally fine if you find this video a few days before the middle of the month, a few days after the middle of the month. You'll find it when you need it, Libra. But let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In our first column, we're going to take a look at what's happened in the last few weeks, so what energy is wrapping up and coming to a close. Column two, we're going to take a look at what's happening through the end of January. In column three, we're going to take a look at money. Column four will be love. And in the fifth and final column, we're going to take a look at a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to talk about your crystal of the month. We're going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. And we're going to do a healing note. Let's jump in. Libra, the card that you're getting as summary is absent. So some of you might have been a little bit absent um, in the last few weeks, or you could feel like something's be been missing for you. But let's go ahead and see what's going on. All right. The first card we have is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of family, friends, reunion. So a lot of you been could have been reconnected with family and friends in the beginning of this year. Um, they could have been carrying over from 2021 as well. Um, but this is also a card of celebration. So some of you could have been celebrating these last few weeks as well. We have that followed by the Page of Wands. The Wand energy is pretty strong in this reading so far. Wands are typically fire signs and it also is related to your creativity. But with the Page of Wands, this is a very active person, which would be you. Um, it could be a new project or creative idea as well. So you could be um, entering into a new phase of physical activity, Libra. Um, but it's very creative and likely a new project on the front for you. And then we have another page card here, page of cups, which is very studious. Um, it's working very hard towards something. So likely this new project or energy or creative idea um, you've been focusing on pretty hard and working pretty hard towards. It could also be a card of volunteering. And in some cases, it could be a new relationship as well, Libra. Let's go ahead and see what messages we have here. So the first clarifying card we have is the Nine of Wands. This is about keeping and maintaining boundaries. Um, it's about being persistent. So we have all these wands stuck into the ground and you're able to kind of filter what's coming towards you. Um, you're also able to stay focused and not being distracted with persistence. I think that's important with that page of wands, whatever that new thing that you're working on, making sure that you are staying focused on this new project or this new creative idea. Um, you can also make sure that you are like setting and keeping boundaries as you go through these reunions or reconnecting with family and friends. The next card we have is the lover's card. The lover's card is good to have anywhere in the reading. It is a card of partnership, deep love. Um, sometimes it indicates having to make a choice though with the two here. So again, I do think some of you have new love coming in with the Page of Cups and the Lovers card. Some of you could have had to make a choice. Or this love you could be feeling could be related to some of these reunions, um, reconnecting with friends and family. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, I do think that this new thing you're working on, Libra, is going to be very be beneficial and will lead to more money for you in life. You might not have felt this new money yet, but it's more so coming in the future. Now at this time, let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming through the end of January. So what you have to look forward to the next few weeks. We have the card Listen. Do make sure you're listening, Libra, what's going on. Um, and be aware of your surroundings and make sure you listen before you speak. But let's see what we've got. The first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. This can be a card of fertility for some of you. Um, again, this seems to be connected to this new project or idea that you're brewing on. Um, it's just indicating that money will be coming for it. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. This is very patient. Um, this is a new job, raise, some sort of money news. Again, this all seems to be tied to this new creative idea or project that you're working on. But it does appear that there will be money coming in for you, Libra. That's a pretty clear message with the Queen of Pentacles backed by the Page of Pentacles. 
Then we have the Hermit. The Hermit did not going within for clarity. See this light here? This light is within all of us. Um, so as we have questions or need clarity, make sure you're going within, asking the right questions. Um, make sure you're staying true to your personal truth. Um, so any moments of clarity you need, make sure you're clarifying with yourself. Let's clarify this column though and see what we've got. The first card we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a good card to have anywhere in the reading. This is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. And with the Lion on there, this very much so is a card of courage. Um, so continue to keep pushing forward on whatever you're working at. Um, that's the message that's coming through. You'll have the strength and courage that you need. Just keep pushing. Again, the Queen of Pentacles is a very resourceful card. So do you think there will be financial gain associated with it, especially with the Page of Pentacles there as well? We have the World card. The World card is honestly about going full circle. It's completing a lesson, completing a goal. Um, it can mean travel. So some of you could be traveling uh, in this coming few weeks. But it's mostly a card of completion. Um, it's interesting paired on top of the new job card or promotion card. Likely you'll be leaving a job and moving on to a new job. Then at the bottom here we have the devil card. Um, so we have the devil on top of the hermit. The devil card is a card of envy. Um, it could be like materialism or obsession. So I think you need to again focus on what you want. If all you think about is money, you're going to get yourself into this kind of devil situation. Make sure that you're doing things with good intentions, Libra, is the message that I'm going to give you here with these two cards paired together. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our money column. Again, we already talked about money a couple times, but in this column, this could be your job, career, finances, businesses that you run, anything related to money. Okay, first things first, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, this is a card of newness. Um, in this case, the Ace of Cups typically represents a new baby or relationship or proposal. Um, it can also mean marriage. When we're talking about it in the money column, it, it means a new relationship as well. And I do think a lot of you are going to be getting a new job. Libra. So in this case, I think some of you will be switching. So you'll be getting a new relationship, a new leader, a new business investor, um, something along those lines. It's a very positive relationship. This next card is confirming that as well. I do want to point out with the two cup cards back to back like that, cups are typically water signs. Um, and it's also very closely tied to our emotions. But our Knight of Cups is a card of Prince or Princess Charming. It's truly the Knight in Shining Armor card. It's very romantic. It is also a card of proposals. You have two back-to-back -back proposals here. So I would expect that you get a new job proposal, a new business proposal, a new investment proposal, and it's going to be very, very attractive and very, very appealing. Um, both of these are strong, healthy energies. It's going to be like the perfect job or the perfect investment Libra coming to you. Then at the bottom we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of moving on. It makes total sense because I do think some of you are going to be leaving a job or switching investments. Um, you see these cups stacked really nicely here and this person's still walking away from them. Um, so some of you could have a good gig right now, but you're still going to move on to something new. Um, just confirms definitely a shift coming here for you in the money and career column. Let's clarify though. Okay, so quite a few repeat cards. Those of you that know me know I love when this happens because it's just like the universe saying I said what I said, I meant what I meant. So we have the Eight of Cups again. This is moving on. Um, again, our cups are stacked beautifully, but you're going to move on to this new opportunity, Libra. Um, I do think, again, there will be a new job, business proposal, investment opportunity. It's going to be wildly successful. Remember, I was telling you the Knight of Cups is like the perfect deal. It's like the knight in shining armor. Um, Four of Wands is going to confirm that for us. The Four of Wands is card of celebration. I think you are going to be over the moon about how perfect this opportunity is. 
Then we have the Page of Swords at the bottom. The Page of Swords is a card of, it can be gossip, it can be like prying eyes, looking for truth. Um, I do think we have, we had the Hermit card earlier, which was like going in and looking for your truth. Some of you may have to take a step back and really evaluate what you want. Again, I think you have a good thing going right now. So you have to kind of evaluate and make sure that you take this plunge. But I do think you should, Libra. It looks super promising. Um, so this is just a card of thinking and I think looking for your inner truth here. Now let's talk about love. So this is anything to do with love. This could be family, relationships, children, anything of that sort. So let's read through that column and see what we've got going on. The first card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a card typically associated with money. But remember, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a new card. Um, so this could be a new job, new raise, promotion, new income, new investment. Um, I do think that there's going to be some new money in the relationship sense for you. Um, and let me explain this a little bit. So I think some of you could be getting money from family, like maybe there's an inheritance or retirement that's happening within the family. Um, it could be a new relationship, but you could also be like going to a new stage in your relationship, Libra. Like you're going to be moving in with them and this is coming up as money because like now you'll be splitting rent and utilities and water. Um, your spouse also, if you're married or in a relationship, they could be getting a new job as well. Um, so there could be more money coming into your household. Then we have the tower card. The tower card is typically an unwanted change. There's like some sort of upheaval that's coming, some sort of shift. Um, I think the tower card makes it look really gloomy, but it may not always be. We of course will clarify this card, but Libra, this could be again, this could be somebody retiring, this could be you moving in together. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad, it's just a change. Then we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional, very strategic, very thoughtful. I would say that we're looking long term. So if this is a new relationship, I think this will be a long term relationship. Um, and things could move kind of fast with this Tower card. If you're in an existing relationship, I think this is a good, secure, long term relationship, Libra. Um, let's clarify though and see what messages come through. So we have the Nine of Swords to start with. The Nine of Swords is a card of nightmares, anxiety, could be grief. You see this person is like sitting up in bed worrying about something. So like this is genuinely keeping you awake at night. Um, so some of you could be worried about this retirement or you could be worrying about moving in together. Um, or you could be worried about this new relationship, although it seems to come together quite nicely. Some of you could have just been having money worries as well, um, and money seems to be correcting itself if that's the case. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles again, so a repeat card here for you in the money column or in the love column. But again, this is a money type card typically. So I do feel like there's going to be some 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 sort of financial shift in your relationship. Um, Again, it's changed. We're on top of the tower card. It's not always bad. It could be that moving in. That could be that retirement, that inheritance. Then at the bottom, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience. It's working hard, but it's delayed success. So this person planted their pentacles, and now they're just sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting for them to grow. Um, so this is likely something you've been waiting for. That's paired with the King of Swords, which is very strategic, long-term thinking. So I feel like you've desired this long-term relationship. You've wanted this. Maybe you've wanted to move in. You've wanted this new relationship. You wanted your partner to get a new job. Um, it feels like there's been something that you've been waiting for that will come true for you now, Libra. So in our last column, we're going to take a look at a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll pull a card here and see. We have the card ready, but waiting. So let's see what message comes through or messages. So something for you to carry into the end of January with you. All right. The first card that we have is the High Priestess. This is a card, again, of trusting your intuition. I know we had the Hermit earlier going in and looking for that light. 
This also could be a card of like secrets or mystery. What I'm getting is that some of you could be waiting for a piece of information, especially associated with that ready and waiting card. Um, with the High Priestess, it's like you're kind of like waiting for a secret to come out or truth to come out. But you do need to make sure you're listening to your intuition and trusting your gut on this, Libra. Then we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of rest, retreat, renewal. Um, I feel like this is not saying that you need to do these, that you are going to get these things. Um, so as you kind of wait this thing out, trust your intuition, and you're going to get this sense of renewal. It makes total sense because then we have the Fool card at the bottom, which is a card of fresh hope taking chances it's going on that new path um, that could be tied to this new job this is kind of like saying take the plunge um, but let's clarify the fool is always good it's a very much so new beginnings card for you pull some clarifying cards though here we have the eight of pentacles the Eight of Pentacles is about mastering your craft, enjoying your employment. This is a card of hard work, too. This is like working smarter, not harder, but you're very skilled and very hard worker. Again, that's on top of that High Priestess. So this information you're waiting on is likely related to job. It makes sense that we're tying back to that job column because it does feel like there's going to be a shift there for you, Libra. Um, but you've been like possibly waiting for this. You're kind of having to trust your gut and your intuition through this. Then we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a good card. This is a card of celebration. It's a card of circle of support. Um, so you will be supported through this transition. And I think this is just validating that this is the right move for you, Libra. Um, go ahead and take the plunge. Then at the bottom we have the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is a card of expectations, tradition, conformity. I think this new job is going to exceed your expectations. This is going to be like new beginnings that you didn't ever think that you would have. Um, or new opportunities that you didn't think you would ever have. So you are going to be like beyond excited about what's to come for you. So now at this point in time, I'm going to give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions, Libra. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Four of Diamonds. This is the number 27 card. This is going to be a yes. Question number two is the Two of Diamonds. This is the number 18 card. This is a yes as well. Then for question number three, we have the Three of Diamonds. This is the number 48 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes, yes, yes for you, Libra. If you watched your January video, you did see that we pulled a card from the Healing Stones deck earlier this month. This is a crystal for you to keep with you throughout the month of January, so keep it in your pocket, put it on your nightstand, put it on your desk at work. Your crystal this month is turquoise. This is a, a crystal of self-responsibility, and it helps you forge your own destiny, which looks like you are already doing. This crystal will definitely support you, Libra. Then we have, uh, we're gonna pull a card from the Healing Stones deck or healing notes deck, excuse me. Your healing note. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Thank you so much, Libra, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified in the future when I post new videos, and I do typically post a couple Libra videos a month. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Libra, and have a wonderful rest of your January.